What's up, Cyber Friends? Kaiser here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I went from system administrator in the United States Air Force to becoming a penetration tester back in the civilian workforce. If you're interested in cybersecurity or considering a career shift, you're in for a treat. Let's go. Earning the CompTIA Security Plus was my first step in becoming a cybersecurity professional. Now this certification isn't just a badge of honor. This is literally where all my foundational knowledge in cybersecurity came from. It's a cert that I highly recommend to not only aspiring penetration testers, but anybody who is seeking to get into the cybersecurity field. After earning Security Plus, I graduated from my Air Force Technical School and I was able to move on to my first duty station in South Korea. That's where I learned how to be a client systems technician in the United States Air Force. After about a year, I started getting pretty good at my job, so I decided to pursue my Bachelor of Science in cybersecurity management policy from University of Maryland Global Campus. That degree program is what taught me the non-technical aspects of cybersecurity, such as governance, risk, and compliance, also known as GRC. After my initial college courses, I made the decision to become an ethical hacker, also known as a penetration tester. So I installed a Kali Linux virtual machine for the first time, and I started going through the online version of Kali Linux Revealed, thinking that it was gonna teach me how to hack right away, and uh, yeah, that wasn't the case because this book is not for Linux beginners, which is what I was at the time because I never touched Linux at that point in my life. I really struggled with the concepts in this book and uh, overall was not having a good time. And after like, I think chapter three, they say, hey, if you're struggling with the concepts in this book, we recommend taking a different uh, introduction to Linux course and actually give you a link to that course. So I clicked the link, started doing that course, and that course was equally confusing and honestly very boring and very dull. I overall was not having a good time and I was very much struggling to learn Linux. Uh, refusing to give up, I went back to the drawing board and uh, reflected on my positive experience with the CompTIA Security Plus and decided to pursue the CompTIA Linux Plus. That's where it all changed for me because the CBT Nuggets course for Linux Plus really helped me understand Linux. After a few months of studying, I ended up getting the Linux Plus certification. Networking in Python was up next. The challenging journey through the Cisco Certified Network Associate CCNA certification blended rigorous study with practical application. Following this, I embarked on a 100 day Python challenge, diving deep into coding and emerging with a skill set that would prove crucial to my hacking endeavors. The practical experience came through Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Tackling daily challenges on these platforms were not just about solving puzzles, but they were essential to learning how to think like a hacker and applying my skills to real world scenarios. My path also involved earning more key certifications such as the ISC Square Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP, CompTIA Cloud Plus, CompTIA Pentest Plus, CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst, also known as the CYSA Plus or CISA Plus, the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, and the INE Security Junior Penetration Tester, also known as the EJPT. Each certification brought its unique challenges and learnings, and they aren't just mere titles as each certification demonstrates a deep dive into different areas of cybersecurity, expanding my understanding and expertise on crucial topics within the field, as well as demonstrating my commitment to continuous learning. Passing the OSCP, the OFSEC Certified Professional, on my first try solidified my place within the hacker community and gave me a ton of industry recognition. It was a grueling but rewarding experience to test my skills to the limit. If you want to learn the specifics of my OSCP journey, check out my last video. Link in the description. Remember, as I was completing all these certifications and completing these Hack the Box and Try Hack Me modules, I held a full-time job and I was a part-time college student. Eventually, I graduated from my bachelor's program and I'm now pursuing my master's degree in cybersecurity management policy. So now technically I have a full-time job and I'm a full-time college student. I adopted a discipline routine to achieve all of this in just four years, balancing an AR workday with three to four hours of study each evening. I dedicated entire weekends to learning and development, which required significant sacrifice. Leisure activities took a backseat as I focused on my career goals. So that's been my journey from sysadmin and pen tester in a nutshell. If you want more information about this journey, I do have a more detailed blog article at kaiserclark.com. You can find the link in the video description. Within that blog article, I do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a pen tester yourself. It starts with creating a LinkedIn profile and engaging with the community, all the way to building a resume and going after advanced certifications. If you got value out of this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're interested in more cybersecurity content from me, hit the subscribe button. I do have a lot more content on the way, and this is just the beginning of my journey as I still got like 40 plus years left in this industry. So as I accumulate knowledge, I will continuously share them with the community. Hopefully I see you in the next video, but until then, peace out, 
Take care. Have a good one. Kaiser, out.